Go get help! Get help! Go! 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 There's a, there's a phone in my vest! Call! Call 911! Call! There's no reception here! Go up to the main road! There's reception there! Please go! How long has he been on there? I don't know. Two, three minutes? Go! 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 Now run!
Sarah Quinn? Yes? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, all right, I'll, I'll be right over. Okay, thanks. Luke's in the hospital. Try not to worry, honey. You know, boys, it's probably just a couple stitches. The police officer Kowalski or Kowalski or something said that Luke had been in an accident. Sergeant. Dr. Abel, cardiology. Dr. Abel, cardiology. Miss Quinn. I'm Sergeant Kurlansky. We spoke on the phone. Where's, where's my son? I want to see my son. It's been an accident. I need to speak with you. What happened to Luke? Miss Quinn. I need to speak with you alone. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you a, are you a friend of the families? Yes. Everybody did all they could. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. But it was too late. I can have someone take you home, Miss Quinn. No. I want to see my son. I want to see my son. I want to see my son. I want to see my Excuse me. She would like to see her son. Yes, of course. Who are you? This is Josh Camden. He's the one who pulled your son from the war. I'm so sorry. I, I did everything I could. I, I tried. I'm so sorry. Thank you. This way, please. Please come with me.
the heck happened? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> he put his hand on the boy's shoulder and the boy came back to life. Is that true? I, I, I didn't do anything. Well, he must have done something. The boy's alive. What's going on? What did you say to him? I, 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 I just said that I wished he could live. No, I, I distinctly heard you say God in there somewhere. Maybe I did. I don't, I don't know. Look, I've been on the force for over 16 years. I've seen a lot of really strange things. <laughs> But this is the first time I've ever seen anyone rise from the dead. Thank you for saving my son. Honestly, I, I, I didn't do anything. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Yes, really didn't. yes, you did. You did, Josh. You brought that boy back to life. Well, I saw it. We all saw it. It's a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle, folks. We're coming to you today live from the picturesque hamlet of Bethany, Wisconsin, where a young boy had a terrifying brush with death. The boy, Lou Quinn, was unresponsive for over an hour and was pronounced dead by doctors here at Bethany Memorial Hospital. The boy was declared dead at 9.47 a.m., but 45 minutes Delia, later... Delia, it's Jack. Give me a Dante's now. ...laying on a fan, and the boy regained consciousness. You heard it here, folks. He came back to life. The accident occurred at Fryman Lake, just outside of Bethany. The boy became trapped under a fallen tree branch and was submerged underwater for several minutes. We caught up with the boy's mother, Sarah Quinn of Bethany, shortly after her son's release from the hospital. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, um, it's a miracle. I don't know. That's, that's all you can call it. A miracle. This is a big story. I can feel it in my gut. Oh, excuse me. Can we get another rye and ginger and a martini extra olives for the lady, please? Thank you. There's no such thing as miracles, Jack. How many times have you seen a guy raise a kid from the dead? Oh. And right before Easter? Are you seriously asking me to cover this? It's bogus. No, no, it's a gift, dealer. And it's exactly the kind of piece the chairman loves. It's his favorite meal, schmaltz on Wonder Bread. Oh, Jack. And if the raising the dead angle isn't enough, the guy's initial JC and get this. He's a carpenter. A carpenter. Mm -hmm. And the kid's name is Luke. So? So last I checked, a chicken for me, thank you. Last time I checked, it was biblical. Oh. And if this whole thing isn't enough, this all took place in a town called Bethany. What does that have to do with it? So that's the town like that Jesus was born in. Come on, what's the matter with you? Please, thank you. It was Bethlehem, Jack. Bethany, Bethlehem, it's whatever. It's close enough. The main point is this. This is a great Easter story, OK? You've got tragedy and resurrection all tied up in a nice, neat bowl. People go crazy for this kind of upbeat human interest crap. There are more things in heaven and earth that are dreamt of in your philosophy. Delia, this story has Pulitzer written all over. That's print journalism. This I one don't takes priority. This story. Hey! I'll make some calls. Oh no, I'm not paying you to make calls, Delia. You're going to the front lines. You're booked on a flight this afternoon. What are you talking about? You're a reporter, Delia. Do some reporting. I knew you had something up your sleeve. <laughs> oh, I take a warm jacket. I hear Wisconsin's pretty chilly this time of year. A modest hero, an ordinary man in extraordinary circumstances. This is Kate Parson reporting to you live for KPJL 7 Action News Exclusive. Cut. We got that. Strike it. Thank you. That was wonderful, everybody. Are you sure you haven't done this before? You're natural. Luke, nice to meet you. Best of luck. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Great. Thank you. Uh, the interview should air on tonight's evening news. Okay, thanks. And keep watching KPJL 7 Milwaukee. We will. We never watch that channel. She doesn't need to know that. It's okay. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess I should get going. Okay. I hope we see you again. Yeah, me too. I'd, I'd like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, wait. You know, I just realized with, with all this craziness going on that I haven't really had a chance to thank you for what you've done. No, no, no. I just did what anybody would have done in the same situation. I don't know about that. Whatever, please. Let me make you dinner. I mean, it's the least that I can do. Sure. I'd like that, yeah. Just uh, name the date. How about tonight? Tonight? I know it's it's sort of short notice, so if you, you know no, if you no, can't. No, 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 that. Uh, yeah, great. Dinner tonight. That sounds that sounds that sounds good. Sure. Okay, seven o'clock. 
Seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. Um, Twenty-five eight zero Beddington. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a lot of, that's a lot of digits the big, for me. I, the, the big wraparound porch. Um, on on Bennington, yeah, Bennington. great, okay. All right, Seven I got that. Seven o'clock. I know that one, okay. Little town with a big heart. See, it does exist. Spammy. Easy girl. Lovely. That food on the plane was inedible. I thought it was tasty. Don't worry. We will find a place. Yeah, fast food, here I come. Ever heard of an entire town shutting down so early? What do people do? Hibernate? The country folk. They get up early, so they turn in early, you know? Turn in? God, spare me from flyover people. Uh, you know, I'm from Oklahoma. I'm one of those flyover people, right? That would explain a lot. Better than being in big cities now. You say? Yes, ma'am. I do say. I'd go postal if I had to live here. It's just the hangry talking. You're hungry, you're tired. I get it. I'll just go to the motel. I give up. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, hang on now. Oh, I see a bar. I think it's open. A bar? Yep. Thank you, Lord. I see a martini in my future. Yeah, it's open, I think. Two gin martinis, extra dry. Dirty, with extra olives, I know. And a fat bacon cheeseburger with greasy fries. Heaven. Yeah. Last call was half an hour ago. Last call? That early? Well, uh, you folks just looking for a drink? Well, you wouldn't mind something to eat? Uh, my cook had to go home early on account of her granddaughter's sick, but I got some uh, pickled eggs and pretzels, if that'll help you, Eddie. Mm. That's OK. I'll have a gin martini. Dirty, extra dry, extra olives. From the shelf, not the well. And a clean glass, please. I'll just, whatever you have on tap. You people are here about the miracle. You're the news folks, right? Uh, what do you know about the miracle? <laughs> oh, well, just about the same as anybody else, I guess. There's your martini. I haven't made one of those in a long time. Okay. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Can you believe it was a miracle? Well, I wasn't there, so I can't rightly say, but uh, I've known all those folks all my life, and none of them are liars, so if they say it happened that way, then that's the way it happened. You know what? I think I'll go for the pickled eggs and pretzels. Sure. Yeah. So you do believe it, then? Well, <laughs> you know, miracles have been pretty sparse in my lifetime, but I guess this is about as close to a real miracle as you can get. Oh, I'll get you a fork for this. Why am I so nervous? It's just, it's just a day, man. It's no big deal. 20 minutes early? I can't show up 20 minutes early. I look desperate. What's wrong with you, man? Okay, easy does it. Less is more. Don't talk too much. It makes you look desperate. Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths. <sighs> take a deep breath. Meditate. Just take a meditation here. I don't even know how to meditate. I've never meditated in my life. Deep breath. <sighs> I wish you knew how to meditate. the time. No, it's not a problem. Come on in. Oh. 
Uh, I just, I, I, give me a second. Okay. I, I forgot, just one second, okay? Okay. Got this for you. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Come on in. Doormat means yeah, business. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right. This looks great. Oh, just a few things I threw together. It's really simple. Can I help? Oh, sure. Uh, here. Okay. Potatoes. Take this. And I have a free hand. Okay. Great. <laughs> smells fantastic. It's an old recipe of my mom's. It's not a problem. I am I am so sorry. That was such a beautiful plate. I, it's, it's just a plate. I mean, I can't tell you how many I've broken. Maybe you can perform another miracle and fix it. Yeah. Don't think anything about it. It, it was an old plate. Really. It was an antique. It was an antique? Luke. Are you serious? I think I'm an idiot. No, not at all. But you have to let me replace it. I don't think you'll be able to. Well, then I would like to repay you some other way, please. You want to repay me? Yes, I do. Okay. Next dinner, you take me out for a meal. So you would have dinner with me again after this? Well, I'll wear something waterproof. And tomorrow's forecast, 87% chance of rain. It's perfect. I won't get wet going to the restaurant, and I'll be fully protected at dinner. How's that sound? Um, tomorrow? The meal that you're taking me out for, our repayment plan. Tomorrow. Dinner out, sounds good, yes. Yeah, I think so, too. Where do you want to go? Let me get my thinking cap on, and I'll let you know. But first, we should eat this meal, so have a seat. Hey, Luke, turn the TV We're on TV. Can I explain it? Um, no, actually, I've never seen anything like it. But miracle? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. We caught up with the boy's mother, Sarah Quinn of Bethany, shortly after her son's release from the hospital. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, um, it's a miracle. I don't know. That's, that's all you can call it. A miracle. In a KPJL 7 Action News exclusive, we spoke with local resident Josh Camden, who modestly declined to take credit for having revived the boy. I, I have no idea what happened. It certainly wasn't because of anything that I did. A modest hero. An ordinary man in extraordinary circumstances. One might even call this the greatest Easter gift of all. It is very inspiring. Yeah, you think I'd look good in a halo? <laughs> oh, it's you, Bob. We should eat. Okay. Well, at least it's a good picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Come on, you have to admit it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hysterical. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to show my face in town again. Maybe you should move. <laughs> I should move. Take my halo with me. <laughs> Come up and leave that. Thank you. Thank you. I liked it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad somebody did. It's a embarrassing.
Hey, Bailey, here's the whole Oh, hey, hey, here he is, the Miracle Man himself. Hey. Or should I say the new Messiah? Okay, guys, so give me a break. Yeah, that was the No, 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 it made you look like a pinhead, man. I thought so. Careful or I might smite you. Smoke, smoke, smoke. No, smoke's past tense. Oh, Thanks for trying to help the others. Ray, what would you like me to fix? This faucet over here. Can't get any water out of it. Not a drop. Water out of your faucet. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let me take a look. You want a coffee? I'd love a coffee. Yeah. Uh, Luther, coffee? For coffee? Yeah, you just turn it. It goes round and round. Nothing comes yeah. out. I don't know what it is. Hey, Candy. I was, I was thinking about getting me one of them halos. Josh, where'd, where'd you get it? Josh wasn't actually wearing the halo, Luther. The TV people, they superimposed it on his head. What, like, like hung it on a wire? No, no, no. It was a special effect, like they do in the movies, right? Oh. Oh, like, like that, like that Gollum guy. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Luther, something like that. I'm going to need to get a part for this. I'll be back this afternoon to fix sure, it. Sure, that's no problem. Right. Yeah. Uh, Luther. Coffee for Josh. Right. I'll be right where you are. Well, my uh, my dog still isn't doing too good. Toby. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Ever since uh, he got his foot caught in that squirrel trap, his leg just hasn't been the same. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Sure do wish somebody could do something. Uh, and, and, and what do you mean by that? Well, you know, fix him. Like he did that Quinn kid. You were praying. No, Luther, I was not praying. You were praying, I can tell. L Luther, listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about your dog. I, I am, but you have to understand that I'm, I'm, I'm not a miracle worker. That ain't what I heard. Wow. Luther, don't believe everything that you hear in the news. And, and get Josh, you know, a sugar, a napkin, cream, spoon. Come on. Thanks. You were praying for my dog. I know it. Can you believe this weather? Woo! Hey there. Hi. Staying dry? Oh, goodness gracious, what a day. Yes. Oh. Indeed. Oh, this looks very nice, Josh. I love the new cabinet doors. That's really nice. Good work. Thank you, thank you. Oh. I'll be done in a bit. I just have a few more doors to put on. Uh-huh. Oh. I tell you, you truly are a gifted man. Oh. You all right? Uh, yes, it's uh, just this cold. It's got my arthritis acting up something terrible. Sorry. Can't get my hands warm. Feel. Oh, God, they are cold. Your hands are really warm, Josh. Uh, just good circulation, I guess. I, um, I changed the plugs back here by the stereo, so everything should be working just fine. Okay. That's odd. What's that? This is the first time they haven't hurt all day. <sighs> what did you do? Nothing, Lydia, absolutely nothing. I didn't do anything. Well, you must have. Is this another one of your miracles? <sighs> no, no, Lydia, it's not. <sighs> okay, 228 Fig Street. Supposed to be here on the left. It's not 228 Fig Street. Where am I? <gasps> Wait a minute. JC Handyman Services, Josh Camden. Mr. Dudley Do Right himself. Okay, I'll follow you.
kind of give me the slip, huh? Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning for Ophelia time, and I'll tell you that. You don't know it yet, but all of your wildest dreams are about to come true. Are you okay? You all right? Oh, you are really good looking. Oh. Excuse, excuse, excuse me? Have you had work done? Oh. Have we met? Delia Tynan. Oh, Josh Camden, your nose, you, your nose is bleeding. It's what? It's bleeding. You got my nose? Blood. Oh, my oh, nose is so bleeding. sorry about all this. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, take it easy. Sit down. Oh, I'm so sorry about all this. I really... Huge muscle. Uh, can, can, I, can I get you some ice? Uh, maybe? Uh, sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. You sure? Okay. Uh, and a dry martini, please. A, mar a martini? Yeah, gin. Uh, uh, dirty extra olives. Uh, unless they're the can kind. Okay. And from the shelf, not the well. Okay. Uh, thank you! Oh, you certainly got a feel for the ladies. Bopping them in the nose? It was an accident. Yeah, that's what the abusers always it say. It was an accident. How's that martini coming, Ray? Dirty, dry, with extra olives. Okay. Sounds like that reporter lady. She's in here the other night. Nice-looking filly. Oh. All right, here's oh. your, your martini. This, oh, this is you. for your, your blood, and then you can just put that on your nose there. Somewhere in the world it's 5 o'clock. You look so familiar. Oh, people think they know me because I'm on TV. Oh, you did that show uh, about the uh, about the quintuplets. Sex tuplets, but who's counting? Sex tuplets. You're famous. Actually, you're the one who's famous, Mr. Camden. I don't know about that. I think I used up my 15 minutes. No, no, no. That's why I'm here. I came to interview you. Look, um, Miss. Tynan. Miss Tynan. This, this has all been blown way out of proportion. What, you don't think what you did for that boy was a, a miracle? I, I have no idea what it was, actually. And I have no idea why everybody's making such a big deal about it. Well, it's simple. I mean, you give people hope. It's a rare commodity these days. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Listen, let me tell you why people can't get enough of this story. some company? Hello. How are you today? Well... Look. What? There, right there, on the pane. Three raindrops. They're in a race. It's marvelous. You see, those two are in the lead, neck and neck. And then, there's the little one in the corner, lagging behind. See? Uh, yes. Yes. Come on, see biscuit. <laughs> oh my, look. You see those two fast ones there that join together? Mm. Those are little. 
he's catching up. Oh, isn't that lovely he's joined them? One raindrop from three. All winners. Lovely. It's remarkable. I um, I got an offer to be interviewed on, on national television. I love television. So you think I should do it? I don't see why not. Nothing bad ever happens on television. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't recall your name. <laughs> it's Josh, Mom. What a nice name. I've never met anyone with that name before. Hey! Hey there! Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Good. I haven't seen you since... It's a miracle. Oh. Uh, engagement party. One of the guys at the station's getting hitched. I don't drink at all. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, uh, you seen your friend lately? Yeah, all the time. We work together. Right. First Prairie, right? Yeah. 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 Why don't you come in? Sure. Come in out of the cold. <sighs> so, pretty strange about Josh Camden, huh? Yeah, from what I hear, the miracles just keep coming. There's more? Oh, well, I wasn't there, so I don't really know, but I was told that he cured Lydia Jorgensen's arthritis. You're kidding. No. Apparently, uh, from what I was told, he touched her just like he did the Quinn boy and presto. Wow. That seems highly unusual. Yeah, it does, but it's also highly unusual to see a kid come back from the dead, but we saw that. Didn't we? No question about it. Yeah. Do you believe in miracles? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, actually, I was just on my way to work. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. I just wanted to say hi. I'm glad you did. Okay. It's good to see you. Nice to see yeah. you. Thanks for yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. I was just wondering, can I get your number? Said. This is a dead Actually, end. This is the place. No, it's a dead end. There's a lock gate there. What are you gonna do? Crash through the gate? No. Well, that's how are we? Place. Where's the driveway? There is the driveway. Oh. Bye. There you go. Got everything? Up here? Yeah, yeah, we're set. Hello? Fine, Hello? Yeah, hi. Okay. I built you guys a little bridge. Thanks. Just one sec. Be careful, oh, Delia. Let's just do this. You, you should have stepped on the bridge. You just stepped in some... I don't know what that was. I don't care what I stepped in. Yeah, but, I mean... You should have better shoes! What? Be never... Better shoes. Yeah. Can't hear you, sorry. Pretty quick in them heels. Uh, Delia Tannen was spoke on the phone. Luther. <laughs> hey, uh, Seb. You should start... Bowling? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, me. Watch it. Watch us. Oh, man. Oh, oh, Delia, it's Obi. low over there. What? Easy. Go oh, B. So, Luther, how exactly did you, uh, did Josh cure your dog? What's his name? I, uh, Toby. It was real mysterious. Uh, Josh just closed his eyes and then, um, said a prayer, and when I got home, the dog was healed. That's fascinating. 
Toby! <sighs> Toby! Uh, this is Delia Tynan reporting from Luther Frobler's home. And Toby. we are looking right now for dog Toby, Toby has been healed from his limp. Yeah, We're still boy. looking for Toby! Toby! There, there he is there. Oh! Boy, come here. Come here. There he oh. is. There he is. There he is. Here. Um, Luther, could you make Toby run for us? I, uh, yes, ma'am. Toby, fetch. <laughs> Uh, um. See, he's all all healed. Um, Luther, the dog is still limping. Well, it was worse. A he was a little worse before. It is a miracle, though. Uh, Luther, why don't you call me when the dog starts speaking in tongues? The dogs don't s speak in tongues. Exactly. Well, there you go, Luther. Bye. Thanks so much for your time. See you, Luther. Are we going to be on TV? <sighs> what do you think? Meh. Thanks. If you don't want my opinion, don't ask. Well, what's wrong with it? I know it's cut funny. It makes your hips look big or something. But not that. Thank you. Maybe the red dress? <sighs> God, that's him. <sighs> They don't look bigger. You look fine, really. Really, really? Really, really. Oh, he's early again. Oh, God, what is it with this guy? Maybe he's desperate. That's a real morale booster. Coming. Coming. They certainly are punctual. Hi. Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Yes, I'm, uh... Delia Tynan. I know, I recognize you from that quintuplet show. Sex, that's, but who's coming? Anyways, um, uh, could I talk to you for a few minutes? You I don't know, it's not a good time. Oh, um, well, when would be a good time? Because I'd love to... What are you doing here? You two know each other? She wants to interview me. Or us, actually. Well, it's more of an in-depth interview. Okay, well, I'll talk to Sarah about it, but honestly, I, I really don't know. We should get going. Our reservations are Okay, sure. Oh, are you two um, going on a date? I will let you know about the interview, okay? Excuse me. Sure, but would you... Uh... Why didn't you warn me she was coming? I had no idea myself. Well, I just don't like having reporters show up unannounced on my doorstep. And I completely understand that. I'm sorry. I'm just a bit on edge, I guess. I just wish everything would go back to normal, like before. You and me both are not quite ready to be the new messiah. Yeah, it must be a lot of pressure. Just can't get that walking on water thing down. Yeah, well, practice makes perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's almost seven. Where are we going? Bowling, actually. Bowling? I thought, I thought you said we had a, a reservation somewhere. I said that to get rid of her. Nice. It's half off pizza tonight at Res if you bowl three games. I'm a terrible bowler. I'm not. There's beer in the fridge, or you can turn some water into wine if you prefer. Beer is fine. Thank you. Hey, Jack. Ah, she lives. Located our miracle worker. Got him, get this, he lives in a church. Was he a religious nut? No, no, apparently he's under financial stress. His mother is always paying a medical bill. Rocks. So he's living in an old abandoned Methodist church on the cheap. He gets to live in it while he's restoring it. Any dirt? No, he's clean as a choir boy. Everybody here thinks he walks on water. Good. So why have you been so hard to get a hold of? You know what, Jack? It's terrible reception out here. A word of warning, Gil Graham's and Bethany. The keynote's looking to do a segment. Competition doesn't frighten me. Yeah, well, I don't want to be the one to tell the chairman that the story slipped through our fingers. I want you to lock this guy down. I have him locked down, Jack. Not yet. Apparently, he's got an exclusive about some kid whose dog was cured by our miracle worker. Yeah, no story there. Dog's a gimp. Got it on tape. Listen, Jack, trust me, you're going to get a great story, OK? Good. 
But what about that unconfirmed report about our fellow curing some woman's arthritis? What's that about? I've got to go. Closing in. Wait. Okay. I don't, I don't really have any memories of my dad. He died when I was about two. And your mother never remarried? No, no, it's just been the two of us. And you've lived here ever since? Yeah, I, I worked for a while in Florida, but that didn't last very long. Mm. I miss the Midwest. You are a very good bowler. <laughs> well, I was Junior League's highest scorer. Why do you think I suggested that we go there tonight? You know, you'll never beat me, even if you could bowl. Oh, wow. <sighs> I'd love to get out of the Midwest. I've never even been to Canada. Well, we can go to Canada tonight. Yeah, I'm game. I'm serious. We can out. Talk about serendipity. I was just on the phone with my boss in New York talking about meeting you both. What a coincidence. here? The stars are aligned. Well, they normally are for me. I'm just kidding. Hey, how was bowling? Not that I'm crying. I can't stand gossip. Focus Point is not a tabloid. I take my work very seriously. And this is real journalism. Can we do this tomorrow? No, we can't. Not in a 24-hour cable news cycle. I'd like to say otherwise, but the sharks are circling. <sighs> Did you tell Sarah about the offer? What offer? It, Delia is offering us a large cash payment in a, in a book deal. Well, a potential book deal. I can't actually guarantee that yet. If we do the national interview. And it would include Matthew, which is really cool. I'm, I'm sorry, who's Matthew? Her son. My son's name is Luke. Luke. Luke, sorry. Listen, if you've made a deal with somebody, I want you to know that you can talk to me about it. No, 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 we haven't. Well, I do know that Gil Graham from Keynote has contacted you. Now, if you're in negotiations with him, that's fine. I understand you need to take the best deal. Okay, you need to serve your own self-interest. And believe me, I would do the same thing if I were in your situation. <clears throat> but here's what you need to know. I am authorized to seal this deal right now, and I will double what he's offered. We didn't make a deal with anyone. Dominates the 18 to Hello. demographics. Now, this is really, really important to think about when you're making a decision. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes, I'll, I'll be there right away. Okay. Uh, my mother's had a stroke. What? It's, it's an emergency. No. Go. Are, are, are go. No. I can see Sarah right home. Okay. Go. Yes. Doctor, how, how is she? How's, how's my mother? She's stable. She's stable for the Doctor, moment. Oh, thank God. Now, there is considerable swelling in the right frontal lobe. And if it's that pronounced in the morning, we're going to have to operate. Is she in pain? Thankfully, no. And oh, I know that's not much of a consolation, but it's something. Can you call the grief counselor and get them down here? Yes. Can she hear us? No, no, she's in a very deep coma. A doctor. Please, 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 God, please. I don't even know what to pray for. I'm, I'm not good at this. I'm not a religious guy. If this is her time, then it's her time. But please don't let her suffer, please. God, don't let her suffer. Whatever you decide, show mercy. Doctor? Shh. Did she just say something? Yeah, she did. She did. I heard it. The speech centers of the brain are completely compromised. Joshua. Must be some sort of involuntary response. Said something. She said my name. She hasn't said my name in over two years. So how did 
to go? Well, let's just say I had dinner with a reporter. Well, what happened to your date? <sighs> Life intervened. You like him, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Me too. change? No, no, I'm afraid not, Josh. Really? Because I, I thought maybe with her, with her speaking that there would be... Yeah, something. yeah, I don't know how to explain that. That doesn't conform to any pattern I've ever seen before. But, uh, the swelling on your mother's brain is very severe. And the only way to relieve it is through surgery. Dr. Okay, so do you need me to sign a consent form or anything? It's a very expensive procedure, Josh. I'll find the money. Oh, I know, I know. No, it's just, I just want to be clear. There's no guarantee. I mean, even with the surgery, she may never come out of this coma. Okay, Delia Tynan. Miss Tynan? Josh, I'm happy to hear from you. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I want to take you up on your offer. Name and time and place, and I'll be there. Second floor of the hospital near the ICU ward? It's not a problem. I happen to be nearby. I'll be there in five minutes. on your feet, honey. Yeah, only one problem. There's no one here to dance with. Nonsense, you're just not trying hard enough. Yeah, easy for you to say. One date and you two are acting like love-struck teenagers. <laughs> he is pretty sweet, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he's very sweet. All right, all right. <laughs> you should dance with Charlie. He's a great dancer. No, no, not now. Please. Really. No, not now. I will only let go of him for a moment, just for you. You guys go. And go the really. moments go. Come on. Uh, So, uh, my mother, my mother needs a, uh, she needs an operation. Oh, no. Is there anything I can do? I, I agreed to do the interview with Delia Tynan, but the, but the thing is, is that she wants all three of us. She wants you, me, and Lou. Of course. 
Of course, whatever it takes. Thank you. But she, I mean, she wants to do it tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow I'll morning. I'll make myself completely available. Of course. Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. It's nothing compared to what you've done for me. Did you take our opening offer? Yeah, he took the low end of the deal. And that includes the mother and the kid. Didn't even haggle. Yes. Good job, Delia. I don't know. I feel kind of bad. Totally taking advantage of him. Is the deal solid? Yeah, uh, exclusive national broadcast rights. Signed and notarized. Cool. When's the interview? Today, I'm uh, going to see the mom and the kid. And then right after that, I'm going over to Josh's house. The church, right? Yes, Jack, the church. I'll send you the footage today. All right. We'll make the air date just before Easter. Take advantage of the whole new Messiah thing. Well, actually, Jack, um, I have an idea. Bye, Josh. She's doing as well as can be expected. <sighs> so, um, so what now? We wait. Hey, God. I know you're not supposed to pray for things. You have to get up. We have to do another interview. Uh, I'm sick of being Miracle Boy. It's gonna be on national television. Hey, we don't have a choice. They're downstairs waiting. So we'll be famous? Could be. Semi-famous anyway. Come on, get dressed. Something semi-presentable. Oh, oh, it's too early. All right, let's put this on the front porch. Oh, uh, that's my Careful the breaker. Yep. Don't worry. <laughs> what is all this? Oh, this is what it takes to record uh, an interview. Is that okay. what you're wearing? Uh, 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 yes. Great, okay. Hi, Luke, come on in. Uh, Dr. Nakatomi, come in. Nakatomi. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is uh, Sarah Queen. Hi. Hello. And this is Luke, the young man Luke. who made the miraculous Hello. recovery. <laughs> Except, uh, are they mics? Yeah, we got them upstairs. Great, okay. We'll have to do a full physical. Sure, we can do that up in Luke's room. Okay, is that really necessary? Oh, it is. I'm sorry. It's standard uh, procedure. We'll, we'll have so, uh, uh, listen, if you, uh, I need some after, coffee, okay? just help yourself okay. to whatever is in the kitchen. Thank you. And uh, I'll, well, there's well, coffee there. Help yourself. There's some cream in the fridge. Sure. Sure. Bev? Bev? Uh, could you come in? Sarah's a little shining. Just fix her up. <laughs> uh, good. I love it. Conservative, caring mom. Great look. Okay. Um, and Luke, you can just sit beside your mom. Sam, are we good to go? Yeah, we are good to go, okay. young lady. Uh, Luke, you can sit beside Stop your mother there. Great. Um, just make sure you're... Uh, 
Kevin, we're good? Great. Okay, Kyle, could you, um, yeah, put your arm around him? Just, yeah, yeah, great. Okay, that's good. Would you mind just get his hair out of his eyes for me? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 56. Right. Are we good to go? Yeah. yeah. Good? Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, camera's rolling. Just yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little. Yeah. In three, two. So, Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time today to, uh, to talk with us. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. And Luke, hi. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to meet you. Um, hey, I seen you before. I seen you now. What Josh done for you is a miracle. Mm -hmm. That's right. The heck with them newsroom people. Pray for one another and that ye may be healed. And that's exactly what Josh done for you. Mm -hmm. You know it, buddy. You can't expect people of no faith to recognize a miracle. You know it. Hey, boy, let's not let them push us around. Yeah. Come on, we got work to do. Josh, hi. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank sure. you. Wow. This is incredible. Oh, well, it's getting there. This is where you live? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Do you mind if I... No, please, please, yeah. Uh, let me know if I can help. Anything? Go ahead, guys. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Let's hustle, guys, okay? We've got to get this uploaded and sent back to New York. Yeah, yeah give me a seat stand and a flag. You good to go, guys? Yeah, yeah all good. Okay, hi, Josh. Why don't I just run through how this is going to work for you, and, uh, and then we're pretty much good to go. Okay, good. I yeah? like that. So this is perfect. We're going to start the interview here, mm -hmm. and uh, then we'll have a walk down okay. here. I'll ask you some questions about your incredible home, by the way. Uh, uh, hmm. If that would be okay. Sure, yeah? yes, please. It's incredible. It's kind of a work in progress. But okay. <laughs> uh, and then what we'll do is we will end up around here. Okay. Um, and then pretty much uh, that's it. I'll ask you a few more questions, and it's over. Okay. Okay, Seb, are we good to go? Yeah, ready when you guys Great. are. Um, what exactly are we going to be talking about? Oh, just uh, standard stuff. Um, you've covered before, I'm sure. The accident, what happened after, that sort of thing. Okay. Great. Okay, so sure. I'll get you on this side, <clears throat> if you okay. don't mind. Sure. In three, two... Josh, how long have you known you've had the power to heal? Um, excuse me? Uh, how long have you known you've had the power to heal? I, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, ne I never actually said that. Never? Mm, no, never. You, you all, um, said that. Who is you all? Uh, you, the people in the media. And the people at Bethany. Are you saying there's some sort of media conspiracy? Oh, no. No, 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 of course not. I, no, no conspiracy, just like a misunderstanding. About what? About, about the miracle. Oh, so you do believe it was a miracle? No, I, I didn't say that. You did. Um, uh, me? I... Not, 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 not you personally, you, but news people. Do you feel persecuted? Persecuted? No. No, I'm just, I'm saying that something happened. The press called it a miracle. People of this town called it a miracle, but I, I never did. So you never claimed to be a new messiah? Of course I did. Josh, why do you live in a church? It, it was a church. It's not a church anymore. Now, and now it's just my home. It certainly looks like a church to me. It, it, it was a church, uh, but it was, uh, it was um, uh, decommissioned or desanctified or whatever they call it now. It's, it's, it's just my home. Do you have some sort of Christ complex? Excuse me? Do you have some sort of Christ complex? Josh? OK. 
Get out of here. Well, we haven't finished the interview, Mr. Yes. Camden. Yes, we have. No, uh, you didn't answer my question. What do you want me to say? What, what, what is it that... Do you want to say that I'm the risen lord, that I, I walk on water to amuse my friends, turn water into wine because it's cheaper than shopping at Walmart? Is, 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 that, is that what you want? Do you believe all of that? <sighs> Turn this off. Turn it off! Finish the interview. What, 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 do you, what, what is it that you want? I want the truth. Don't insult me. I am a sound bite to you. No, nope, that's not true, Josh. There are a lot Get of out. people who want to Get know out. the truth. I want you out. Get out. Look, let's, let's just all calm down here, okay? We can... Get out. Get out. Get out now. <sighs> okay. Okay, cut the camera. Your son's on TV tonight, Helen. A sleepy rural community of 9,000. A place where everyone knows their neighbors and people leave their doors unlocked at night. An idyllic place nestled far away from the bright glare of media lights. But all that changed when tragedy struck. Josh Camden tells the story. Here's Josh! I was just here on a Friday night, and uh, I heard the sound of some boys shouting. And at first, I thought they were just playing, but I... I quickly realized that something was terrible going on. Twelve-year-old Luke Quinn had been playing down in this area with his friends, swinging on that tire between two trees. Now, this tree down here broke, and Luke ended up trapped underneath the water in freezing temperatures for several minutes. Josh Camden, who had been fishing nearby, tried to resuscitate Luke, but he was unresponsive. Luke was rushed to Bethany Memorial Hospital, where doctors and nurses did everything they could to revive him. But their efforts failed. After showing no vital signs for over an hour, Lou Quinn of Bethany, Wisconsin, was declared dead. Then something occurred that many people characterized as, well, a miracle. Boy, it was a miracle, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, Helen, it's me. The boy had no vital signs for over an hour, none. And Mr. Camden put his hands on him, and he came back to life. Well, if that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. Lydia, do you really believe that Josh Camden cured your arthritis? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I don't know what happened in the late that day. All I know is I haven't had a touch of arthritis since Josh touched my hands. I'd call that a miracle. I spoke next to Luther Frobler, who claimed that Josh Camden had healed his crippled hey, dog. Hey, there's Luther! It seemed highly improbable, but in the interest of fairness, I decided to investigate. And there's Toby. Wow. Uh, uh, Luther, can you make him run? Yes, ma'am. Toby, look what I got for you. Go get it, Toby. See? All healed. Uh, it still looks like he's limping to me. However, to this reporter's eyes, Mr. Frobler's dog exhibited a very strong limp and seemed anything but cured. Amongst the criticism of what seems to have happened here in Bethany are highly respected scientists and doctors, even religious leaders, does their skepticism concern you? You know, I, I can't speak to the religious or medical aspects of the whole issue. You know, I'm his mother. Uh, but Luke's coming back to life. Well, to me at least. <sighs> it was a miracle. But not everybody believes it was a miracle. We spoke with Dr. Peter Nakatomi, head of the Cheval Dave Research Institute. Dr. Nakatomi, there are a lot of people who want to believe this story. Well, it's important to distinguish between what people want to believe and what we can verify as medical fact. So, uh, differentiate... What's this? Focus point. They're doing a show on Mrs. Camden's son. I thought she might like to watch. Yeah, but I don't think she'd be able to hear it, Karen. You never know. So how I suppose... That he showed no vital signs for over an hour. It's a phenomenon called the mammalian diving reflex. It's rare, but there are other similar cases in the medical literature. Would you mind explaining it further? When the conditions are exactly right, as they were in this case, 
it's possible for the human body to go into a state of suspended animation. Uh, much the same idea as a computer going to sleep. No outward signs of life, but the body is still functioning on a barely detectable level. It's fascinating. Now, once the body temperature is restored to a near normal state, the brain reactivates the vital functions. And that is clearly what occurred in this case. The data supports this. So what you're saying is this was not a miracle? No, it most certainly was not a miracle. We spoke with Mr. Camden at his home, a decommissioned Methodist church. So you never claim to be a new messiah? Get out of here. Well, we haven't finished the interview. Yes. Yes, we have. You feel persecuted? What do you want me to say? What, what is it that you want me to say? Do you want to say that I'm the risen Lord, that I, I walk on water to amuse my friends, I calm storms, or I turn water into wine because it's cheaper than shopping at Walmart? Is, 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 that, is that what you want? Well, is that what you believe? Josh would never say that. We haven't finished the interview. What, what exactly do you want from me? Don't insult me. I am a soundbite to you. Get out! Listen, okay, let's just all calm down. Get out. Mr. Camden refused to continue the interview and subsequently... She's flat, Lily. It's a cold room. Come on, Helen. Got it. You decide. Delia Tynan, Focus Point, New York. And coming up next on Channel 2... So, did I die or not? Mom? Did I die or not? Apparently not. Thank God. Miracle or no miracle, you didn't. So, I guess we won't be famous anymore? <laughs> I've had enough of being famous in this lifetime. Me too. I'm tired of being... The amazing undead kid. <laughs> Why did they make him look crazy? He's not like that at all. I don't know. Maybe because it makes a better story. Even if it isn't true. Sorry, Mom. I thought that would turn out a little differently. Ridiculous. What were you thinking giving that interview? Mom? Who do you think I am? The ghost. But, but the, this, 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 this is impossible. Another one of your miracles, I guess. Oh, where are my glasses? Really? Of course not. Didn't you watch the show? It's been pretty well established that you're no miracle worker. That's true. Oh, I'm starving. Who's in charge of the food around here? I'd kill for a steak. No. A pizza. Large. With pepperoni. What are you waiting for? Get her a pizza. Have you seen the overnights? We haven't seen Raiden's like this since the Sex Tuffet show, not even close. Okay, what's wrong? What? We have a problem. What? One very important viewer didn't care for the show so much. The chairman's wife. 
The chairman's wife, okay. She hated it. What? Why? <sighs> Short version, Mrs. Chairman is apparently quite religious. Who knew? So? She thought the Carpenter's Miracle segment was making fun of religion. It wasn't. What are you talking about? I, know. I told the chairman, but it seems to be taking a lot of abuse from Mrs. Chairman. I'll have a spicy cheese terramayo, please. So, your job is secure? Yes. But you need to make some structural changes within the show. Yeah. I'm putting you on a celebrity beat. Come on. Just for a while. And if I don't agree? That'd be very unwise. Jack, come on. I, I'm a journalist. I'm not a gossip monger. I know. I know. But the chairman was adamant. I, I understand if you, if you don't want to. No, it's not good. I want to. I want. I, under, I understand if you don't. If you don't want to talk to me. I just. I, I want. I want to. So are you coming in or not? I haven't made up my mind yet. I really think you should. Well, I, I, I don't know if your mother wants to see me. There's only one way to find out. If, 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 if you don't want to talk to what me, what are just, you talking it, it, about? The whole it, that, that was my fault. No, okay? it wasn't and, your And if you looked like idiots. No, and, you actually looked look, like an idiot. Yeah, I didn't look like an idiot. Point taken. Idiot. Point taken. I looked like an idiot. And I, and, I, and, I, and I understand if you might be mad it's at only me. Only mildly. You, you, you know, I'm you know, not mad with just like, an you know what? For, for, of Forget about I maybe am. mad at me. But if, if you were really deeply angry with me, I would get that. You didn't want to see me or talk to me again. I want you to know that I'd understand. I would. Well, you are the most unpopular man in America at the moment. <laughs> you know, fake messiah. Only thing lower would be an IRS agent, or a... I'm sorry I got you. I'm sorry. Because I... I want to talk to you. I want to, I want to, I want to tell you things. I want to... Is there any way that I can make it up to you? Yeah. You can buy me dinner. I'm starving. Just uh, um, talking about getting some dinner and uh, um, some pizza. Do you want to get some pizza with us? It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, man. I've got some homework, and uh, I think I'd rather hang here. But um, you two can go. Okay. I'll bring you back a slice. <sighs> That'd be great. few days really shot my faith healing business to pieces. No, seriously, where do you go from here? Seriously, I don't know. To you? To you and Luke? If you'll have me? Of course. You know, there's... No, going back to the life that you've led, that I've led, 
Even if you wanted to, you couldn't go back to that life. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I want to move forward. I want to continue forward with you. <laughs> What was that? Oh, no. I think I hit something. <sighs> oh, no, no. I know that dog. That's... That's Toby. That's Luther's dog, Toby. Oh, man. Oh, no. No, I... Poor little guy. <sighs> He's dead. <sighs> what do you want to do? Well, we gotta tell him. We gotta. We gotta take him to Luther. I'm sorry, Toby. Okay, he was dead. Let's not tell anyone about this, okay? Well, I can do No, 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 please. Nobody. 